In this class, we are going to study about representation of pure rotation about an axis. So, in the previous classes, we were discussing about transformations, and the transformations can be of three types. One is pure translation, pure rotation, and third one is combined transformations. So, we have already uh, gone through the topic pure translation. So, today we are going to look into pure rotation about an axis. Okay. So, as you can see that here we are having two frames. So, this XYZ frame is known as a reference frame and this NOA frame is known as the frame or the subframe. So, here we have uh, two frames, reference frame and the subframe and we have a point P. Okay. With respect to uh, NOA frame and this point P will have three components. That is, with respect to NOA frame, PN, PO, and PA. And with respect to XYZ, uh, it will have PX, PY, and PZ. Now, the question is, like, if uh, N is parallel to X and O parallel to Y and A is parallel to Z, and both these are located at the same origin. That is, this NOA frame is actually located at the origin of XYZ. So, that means this a vector a or this translation is actually equal to 0 a is equal to 0 so initially we assume that both are located at the same origin that is origin of x y z and here the distance a is equal to 0 then what will be uh, uh, p or how we can represent the value for p with respect to x y z frame so we are going to write the matrix for that so it can be represented or the matrix for that can be represented using this so the position of p with respect to x y z that is p x p y p z with scaling factor 1 is equal to or position of p with respect to x y z can be represented by the multiply by multiplying these two matrices so first matrix means since here we doesn't have any rotation okay because n parallel to x o parallel to y and a is parallel to z that means there is no rotation so this orientation part can be represented using an identity matrix right so this is the identity matrix and here you can see the scaling factor for the orientation will be equal to zero okay and this here, uh, this we have given three zeros in the fourth column that indicates that the position of this a is equal to zero, right? Both of uh, in the uh, located in the same origin. So therefore, this will be zero, 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 and with the scaling factor one. Since this represents the position, the scaling factor is equal to one multiplied by the original position of this point P with respect to NOA frame and this is the scaling factor 1. So, this is the this is how we represent pure rotation about an axis. So, here the rotation uh, there was no rotation. So, this we can represent the position of uh, point P with respect to XYZ is equal to identity matrix into uh, the uh, position with respect to NOA frame. Okay. And next let us consider there is some rotation happening with respect to the x axis that is this n is moved anti clockwise so whenever n is moved anti clockwise obviously there will be a change in the uh, uh, in um, this y axis and z axis okay so let this uh, o and a okay they are shifted by theta degree okay theta means it may be some 90 degree 45 degree etc so it is uh, shifted uh, the moment is happening uh, by a theta degree okay then how we can represent the rotation matrix with respect to x axis so this is how we can represent it the position of x y z is given uh, by multiplying the rotation matrix with respect to x axis into the uh, p n o a okay so you can see the rotation matrix here is uh, not an identity matrix rather it has some cos and sine values so here co indicates cos theta and s s t theta indicates sine theta it's not co it's actually c theta c theta indicates cos theta and s theta indicates sine theta so here you can see that the mat rotation matrix is represented as 1 0 0 again 0 cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 sin theta cos theta 0 and uh, here since the scaling factor is 0 which is given as 0 0 0 and here it is 1 and this 0 indicates that there is no displacement that is a is equal to 0 multiplied by p n o a right 
so uh, this is how we represent the rotation along the x axis so you, you have to by heart this okay how we can represent rotation with respect to x axis likewise so there may be movement happening along the y axis so at that time there may be a change in this a and n the moment uh, a and n may be moved by some theta degree so how then how we can write the matrix for that so the rotation matrix will change here with respect to y axis you can see you have cos theta 0 sin theta 0 0 1 0 0 minus sin theta 0 cos theta 0 0 0 0 1 multiplied by pnoa okay so this is how we represent the y axis likewise if the moment is happening along the x axis then how we can represent the rotation matrix with respect to z axis you can represent as cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 so this is how you represent the uh, rotation matrix okay so pure rotation is represented as this so you have to by heart this equations